peace and blessings. This is not Queen with Divine Blessings Apparel, and I welcome you to the video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be printing onto a hoodie. And um, okay, so you know I have the Epson F570. Let me just swing this over right there. And um, so when I was doing the jean jacket and printing the Rudy, I have subly flock, right? And what happened was, this is the subby flop. What happened was it was getting jammed in the printer. And the reason it was getting jammed is because the subby flop comes wrapped like this, right? To protect the actual felt feeling, it feels like felt or whatever. So to protect it, they roll it this way. So I was putting the actual subly flop directly into the Epson printer and I was printing and it kept getting jammed, but I had did it previously where it just went right through. So I know that I could print directly onto the subly flop, but it kept jamming and jamming. So what, after two jams, I realized it was curling during the feed. So then I had to fold it the opposite way, right? To get the bends out and it finally went through but it was too little too late because now i don't know if you can see it when it prints can you see those lines see like those lines the roller is now dirty see you can see it good right here so those lines coming down so because the roller is now dirty, it's messing up every subway flock. Now, if I print the, um, with the regular Epson um, sublimation paper, or even if I use regular transfer paper, because it's thin, I don't get those marks on the print. So I have to do the two steps, right? So this is what I printed out. Um, I don't know, he was, he was talking about, um 36 chambers of death or the last dragon one of them bruce lee movies and i watched bruce lee right <laughs> but i don't remember this being the scorpion maybe it's the scorpion bruce lee have a movie called the scorpion i don't know i'm sure he stole it from online but whatever he gave it to me he wants it printed on his shirt i mean on his hoodie so now what i have to do is take this so i have to print directly on my sublimation paper and mesh it to here the two steps um so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do right now okay so in order for me to get it on correctly i actually use a t-shirt just so that i can get the same pressure measurement without i mean whatever <laughs> pressure measurement um same measure uh, pressure for the image to actually go on the subly flock. I don't want to mess it. I'm looking over there. I'm sorry. I don't want to mess it up. I'm holding the and I'm using an iPad, so it's even bigger. So I'm gonna put that on it like that. And get some mesh. Hopefully, I got it. Yeah. Right here. This is big enough. I'm not as high as it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna have to like. <laughs> so I only have two hands and one hand has to cut this. So let me see. Let me put you back on the tripod. See if you can see. Tripod, they need to raise the height of tripods. Oh, you can see. Okay. I don't know why they're so low. So if someone's standing up, you can't see. All right, so let me just put this right here. Okay, and back Alright. Okay. So we're gonna put that there. Get the so when I got the iPad, I basically shut it off on the seat. So okay. Hopefully the whole image is underneath. Let me make sure. I always have it on me while I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, 
Oh no, I see some up here. See, part of the image is up there. Let me turn it sideways. Try to get the better. Now I can see it better. All right. Let's cover all of the image. All of the images on the flock. Yep. Okay. So. I have it on 384, basically 60 seconds. The pressure is still the same. Uh-oh, it moved. It moved a little bit. Just want to make sure the image is on the subby flop. Okay, the fact that it could rotate, it messes up my evenness. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we start in the seconds. It's in there and we will be back after 50 seconds. So there we go. She's now on the subly flock. Here's the actual image. Still a lot of ink, right? And it's nice and dark still. Okay. Now, my brother cuts. I have not had success, but I'm going to try it because this image is so simple with the roundness. So I'm going to see. I do this all the time. <laughs> I'm going to see how it cuts so we'll be back in a second okay so apparently this is a 12 by 12 and this is 15 inches long so I can't even use my handy dandy brother print cut I mean scan and cut so that means I have to use my own eyes. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm thinking he wants this on a black hoodie. So I probably should keep a little white outline. I'm gonna have to ask. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna go around it like this first. And then, Call and ask. If he wants a little white outline or does he not want any outline? Because the hoodie is black. So, I don't know. I let it dry before I came back. But I still don't want to put fingerprints on the image. Good thing this is a simple round design. Sorry I made you go through this. At least you can see. Uh, 
I make sure it's... I guess you can have that outline, right? So that it could pop on the hoodie. But I need to make sure. Try in a conversation. So. It's a little darker right here, but right there. Well, he ain't answered the phone yet. All right, so that means we have to tie it out because I don't want to print it. And then he's not satisfied. So we'll be back. Okay, so I am back. He called back and he is going to keep the white outline. I got the black hoodie. And now we're going to go over here. Let's see if we can get this to at least see some of it. Because these tripods are so short. happening when I'm pushing this. Oh, you couldn't see it, but the back feet was not on the table. When I'm turning this, it slides. They still slide. All right. Let's see what we're doing with this. a little bit of it. Let me get some of that off. The lint roller. I'm have complications just with the light roller. Changing pages. Next page. thing with the hoodies because the hood is always in the way so I just want to bring it back up a little more I'm not lifting up my pad making sure it's still even Press 
rinse it out. These wrinkles out. Oh, that's good. I probably should have did it up. Either way, because pockets be in the way. Alright, let's just press it and get rid of the moisture. Humongous. This is bigger than the damn hoodie. It's gonna be over his over his um pocket. Oh it's gonna be over the pocket. Oh he wanted a gigantic all right so i actually have to keep the back off i hate this part so now it's simple take you with me I'm showing you exactly how difficult it is for me to get the backs off of these. It's got to be an easier way. You know how shopping bags be sticking and you lick your finger to get it off? I wish it was that easy. There you go. I got a little, got a little nudge. And then you got to do it without damaging the image. I cannot get it off. Okay, let me try using the exacto knife. You must smell something. <laughs> you don't really eat that. Oh my gosh. Got some wiggle room. <laughs> Sheesh. All that. How long did that take? About seven, eight minutes? Crazy. Came over the pocket a little bit. I don't know why he asked me for this gigantic image. All right. So the neck line is right there. This is supposed to be below the neck line. Put it like right on top of the neck one. Fill those strings up under there. Yeah, this is much 
shows either. Parchment. Now the thing is to get down here, I may have to move the um hoodie and let it sit for the first piece and then move it. Or maybe not. It look like it might fit. Cause what we doing is magnet. Okay, so we're gonna let that rock for like 20 seconds just to put it on the garment. Yeah, so to make sure your, um, your image looks right on the hoodie, I would suggest doing it. I got paint on my shirt. I, I would suggest doing it the right size. Okay, let's go down. Um, let me move this back like this because this is wrinkled up here. Should I get oh, it's on there? I just want to make sure this is on there though because this part is a little wrinkled. But you know what? Let me show you. I'm gonna keep it on the tripod. So it's, it's there, it's on there. This part right here, can you see? It's a little wrinkle. So I'm just, instead of going over it with this heat press, I have a little iron that I'm gonna plug in. And I'll go over it with the iron. What? Yeah, looks much better with the white outline. Look at that face. It's on there. That's cute. <laughs> okay. So that is pretty much it. So now you see how I use the Epson to, I like to be, so that's my, <laughs> use the Epson to print on Subly Flock. Unfortunately, I have to do the two-step now. So for you, please make sure if you're gonna use Subly Flock because it's thick and it's curled in to protect the flock, I guess, felt flock, I don't know. Make sure you bend it the other way and then make sure it's straight before you feed it into your Epson. Otherwise, you're going to mess up your rollers like I did. And you're going to get straight roller marks on your um, actual image. And you don't want to do that because you're probably selling products. And you don't want marks on sold products, right? So, yeah. So, And then if you do mess up like I did, then you have to do the two-step. Put, put it on the sublimation paper. Put the sublimation paper on the flop transfer the image and then press it down 20 seconds so this is not queen i thank you for watching if you um like the video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe i'm building this new channel and this new business and hopefully you are enjoying my journey as i am i thank you for watching i wish you much peace and blessings and i'll talk to you on the next video peace